All right, welcome back. We got Father Carson Project. It's a double West Coast IPA, 10% from Vortex Alley Brewing. Got another backstory on this one, direct from the man himself. All right, so I'll read the details, then I'll read what David had to say. It's 10% that drinks like a 5% crusher, nice tropical notes on the front that blend off into floral bitterness. There were 53 check-ins. Hmm. See what old David had to say. Uh, Father Carson project was inspired by our friend, the real Father Carson. Uh, met Father Carson when he, we were building the brewery to and tap room and found out that he loved craft beer, especially IPAs. We were drinking and talking one night and I suggested that we brew a beer with him uh, and call it Father Carson project, which is a play on the Alan Parson project band name. I've never heard him, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, Jimmy, uh, which is one of the other co-owners have been experimenting with some hops and that, that, that they had used before, which was Equinot and Laurel. Uh, we like how the Equinot created the nice tropical flavor and aroma while the Laurel hops produced more of a floral profile and added to a nice hop finish. I told David A++ on his description notes because he is good at that. All right. Took a trip down to Turk Town and here we are. There's your color. Uh, if you're watching this today on the upload, hopefully tonight I'll be up at Brad's. Uh, I gotta give him a hat. Je David, Jesse doesn't wear a hat. <laughs> never, I've never once seen that man wear a hat in the 13, 12 years or whatever I've known him. Um, Brad wears hats all the time. He's got a mullet and a beard. Of course he has to have a hat. Uh, got a whole bunch of old beer glasses I'm giving him. Ones I don't have room for. Tulip glasses is what I stick with. Uh, I'm not much of a pint glass fan. Anyway, people's already probably clicked off the video. Cheers. Ten percent, huh? Okay. Bullshit. <clears throat> uh, nice, crushy, bready, and slightly bitter. Once again, nobody says any solid IPA. Nobody says anything really though. Not the best, even though the guy it was named after is in the room. Uh, this should be on your top 10 list of IPAs. That is all she wrote. I th nope, never mind, it's loading some more. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. It smells very, very bready like, not grain, like actual bread. What? I was off to the side like an idiot. Fuck. Again, neighbors outside as I'm partaking in uh, freedoms. I want to think of smell it from here. And I don't need a beer. What up? One second. Mm. Tasty and odd. I like it. Nice brew, not too hoppy, with hints of citrus, subtle hops, and citrus on the finish. Yep. Nice mellow IPA. Three and ten percent. Yeah, it's really mellow. Awesome crisp, hoppy orange and grapefruit. All right, that's good enough. So anyway. Possibly going to Brad's tomorrow. I'll take a couple of uh, these beers over there. He's got a couple to review. Give him a hat, stickers, and beer glasses. And hang out a bit. I'd like to see more of a citrus note, maybe a little sweeter. Uh, it does kind of have that. For being a West Coast, it seems a little light for me. Maybe Father Carson is not heavily into West Coast. I'm not, so. 
but for 10% and being a West Coast so you say I think it's rather good all right so once again they do one through five got a 3.9 I'm gonna go ahead and say eight for being 10% and trying to mix the tropical with the West Coast even though I think both are lacking but it's a good solid drink I'm gonna say nine real good mainly because of the percentage I don't know what they're charging for these got the whole damn crew out here now staring at me um, you wanna try a West Coast IPA at 10% she won't like it <laughs> sours and stouts that's her thing <laughs> it's not bad. Yep. So, there you go, nine. Uh, I think it's better than, once again, what people say. And, uh, once again, thank you, David. We'll be seeing you.